Welcome back viewers. Today I've got this lovely cut of corn silverside. Gonna do it in the camp oven over the hot fire. Well it'll be a cold fire. Do a trick to this. First I'm gonna coat it with brown sugar. Just on the fat cap side, I'm gonna leave the fat cap on. This is gonna caramelise down. Going to get a nice coating. Going to sit it back in the fridge for a couple of hours while I get some good hot coals going. Maybe this went up to eat already. Gonna roast and steam at the same time. That's the plan. As you can see, it's already starting to caramelize along the edges there. Just pull the moisture out of the meat. Should have done this last night, let it sit overnight. It was hell windy here yesterday and didn't know if I was going to get to cook or not. Turned out to be a beautiful day, so we're going to get into it early. All right, well, I'll let that sit in the fridge for an hour or two. Start to caramelize on my fingers, look at that. <laughs> this is going to come out bloody awesome. Get some coals happening. An hour or two's time, we'll get it on. We'll be back. Thank you. Okay, the meat's been in the fridge for two hours now. It started to caramelise. Done a little modification to my trivet. Two B 5 16 bolts. It's going to hold up off the bottom. Right, all right, let's get this on. About that many bay leaves. Throw them in there. There you go. Couple of peppercorns. Throw them in the bottom. A little bit of vinegar here. I'm only gonna go about 100 mils. That's a good 100 mils. Now I'm gonna add water to this. All right, I've got the water up to the bottom of my trivet. I'm gonna place this on my slow fire over here. Now, place that on the trivet. That's a big slab of meat, that. This is going to steam from the bottom. You're going to put a lot of coals on the top 
and it's going to roast from the top. I really need a bigger camp oven for this. and have my fire to one side and cook on the other side so it's nice and slow just gonna leave it in the middle for until it warms up here we are been cooking for an hour and a quarter let's have a quick look that's looking pretty good let this cook for another hour and a quarter, I reckon. Just simmering away nice and low. Got the fire over this side, no fire under that side. Give it a turn every 20 minutes, half an hour. Half a turn, a quarter of a turn, somewhere about that. Want more heat on the top than the bottom. Might get some more coals here in a second and put on top. Just add to that, top that up. Keep the fire just poke along underneath. We'll be back in an hour and a quarter. All right, we've been cooking for three hours and a quarter. Have a look at this. Now for everyone with their technical thermometers, I use my three dollar one. We're aiming for 86, 88. I'm just looking to see if it's tender. This is close enough to 88 for me. All right, let's get this off and let it rest. Don't drop it. So he's going to wait an hour for it to rest. Let's just get into it. Have a look at that. That looks pretty good. This is going to be bloody hot. I'm going to have a go. That is good. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Yeah, it is good. <laughs> it's good, Rachel. Uh, it's good. Send you a laugh and look at.